Hey guys, in this week's tip, we're going to continue off of last week's theme and we're going to look at slow moving items and see if we need to make any adjustments within item maintenance. You've probably figured out by now that there are several different ways to take a look at slow moving items. This is just another one of those ways. So right now, I'm pretty much in a vanilla item cost view. To enhance this view a little bit so we can do what we want it to do, we're going to add a few windows. First thing we're going to do is add our movement history window. To do so, we're going to click analysis, then movement by date. The window is going to pop up and I'm just going to move it over here to the right a little bit to make room for some others. Next, we're going to add what we call our item performance check. To do that, simply click on tools, item performance check. That window is going to pop up and really all this is is just a handful of tools that lets you interact with the items to see what's going on with them. Okay, let's start having some fun with this thing. The tool we're going to use today is the item with no movement button. This one right here, second from the bottom. Simply click it and you'll see that menu pops up. So let's take a quick run through of some of the settings within this query. First, we have our period by day, by week, by month, by year. In our example, I want to go ahead and look at weekly data. We could also determine a date range if we wanted to do that. We could break it down by subdepartment or look at just individual subdepartments. Same thing with vendors if we just want to see a handful or certain vendors. And we can also tell the query that we only want to see items created before or after a specific date. So let's see what this baby can do. I already selected my period weekly here. Now, I really only want to take a look at slow moving items with inventory on the shelves. So to do that, under the options, I'm going to go ahead and select items with inventory only. Click that radio button, then I'm going to launch. There you go. Those items show up in the browser just to the left. So what is this view showing us? Well, in the browser here, it's showing us all the items that had zero movement within this date range here, but we can also see movement with other date ranges over here to the far right. We can scroll through each item and we can see that the movement data over here changes. It can tell us a story of what's going on within our store. So let's take a quick look into one of our items as an example. Let's pick this uh, kitty dinner here. We're going to go ahead and select that. You can see that the movement data over here shows that we had some okay movement for the past month or so. Then all of a sudden, about two weeks ago, things just died off. So now that we're armed with some actual data, let's dig a little bit deeper to see if we can figure out what the heck is going on. So to start, one action we might want to take a quick look at is our actual inventory on hand. To do that real quick, we hit analysis, inventory history, a new window pops up. I'm going to move it down here to make it a little bit easier to view. And then holy excess inventory, Batman. We've got 129 units on hand. That's more than the last five weeks of sales combined. So granted, my data here looks kind of goofy being a demo system and all, but you get the idea. We can see what's on hand inventory wise. We can see our movement for the past five weeks. And we also notice a trend here. Two weeks ago, things just completely died off. So either the competitor down the street is running one heck of a sale on this kitty dinner, or all the kitties in town packed their bags and left. Best thing about this tool, we're right here in item maintenance, so we can go ahead and make adjustments right here on the fly. Well, that's it for this week's tip. Hopefully you learned a new way to take a look at slow-moving items within your own store environment. Until next time, have a great day.